Nobel Prize winning British physicist Peter W. Higgs passed away on 8th April 2024. Peter Higgs is best known for Higgs boson which in popular culture is known as the God particle. Higgs boson is one of the greatest discoveries in the last 100 years. By proposing the existence of Higgs boson, Peter Higgs earned himself a name among the greatest stalwarts of modern physics like Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking. Peter Higgs was born on 29th May 1929 to an English father and a Scottish mother. His father was a sound engineer with BBC. Peter Higgs studied at the King's College London and obtained his PhD in theoretical physics in 1954. Thereafter, he joined the University of Edinburgh at the Scottish capital city. He continued to do research and teaching at the University of Edinburgh until he retired in 1996. What Peter Higgs did was to solve a truly fundamental problem in physics. How do fundamental particles acquire mass? The standard model of particle physics explains how fundamental particles interact with each other and constitute the universe as we know it. As per this model, all matter is made of two types of particles, quarks and leptons. There are six members in the family of quarks, up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom quarks. There are six members in the lepton family also. Electrons, muons, tau particles, electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos and tau neutrinos. There are four fundamental forces through which the fundamental particles interact with each other. The gravitational force, the electromagnetic force, the weak force and the strong force. The strong force binds the quarks together to form the protons and neutrons. The residual strong force binds the protons and neutrons into nuclei. The electromagnetic force binds the nuclei and the electrons to form atoms. The same force binds atoms together to form the molecules. The gravitational force is responsible for the large scale structure formation in the universe like the planets, stars and galaxies. The weak force is responsible for the decay of certain nuclei. The fundamental forces manifest themselves through the exchange of certain mediating particles. The mediating particle for the electromagnetic force is the photon. For the gravitational force we have the graviton. The particles of exchange for the weak force are the W plus, W minus and Z0 particles. Strong force is manifested through the exchange of gluons. The standard model of particle physics is a remarkably successful theory of physics. It is supported by experimental evidence of high levels of accuracy. But in its formative years, the theory could not explain why fundamental particles are having mass or why different particles are having different masses. In the early 1960s, physicists started modeling the behavior of the fundamental particles using the equations of quantum mechanics. They noticed that the equations were having high level of symmetry when the fundamental particles were treated as massless. But when the scientists introduced the masses of different fundamental particles into the equations, these equations became complex and inconsistent and the symmetry was spoiled. Peter Higgs came up with a path-breaking idea to solve this problem. He kept the equation symmetric by not arbitrarily introducing the masses of the fundamental particles. He then proposed the existence of an all-pervading scalar field, the Higgs field. When the fundamental particles interact with this Higgs field, they acquire mass. Since different particles interact with the Higgs field with different couplings, they acquire different masses. In 1964, Peter Higgs published his magnificent ideas. 
as a research paper in the prestigious journal Physical Review Letters. But his ideas failed to gain the acceptance of the scientific community immediately. But over the years, scientists started seeing the merits of Higgs theory. The proposed Higgs field is an all-pervading scalar field. The vibrations of this scalar field should produce Higgs boson. It is a boson because it is a spin zero particle. Theoretical calculations showed that Higgs boson itself is having mass and being unstable, it decays into other fundamental particles. It took the scientific community almost half a century to experimentally observe Higgs boson. Fundamental particles are produced and observed in the laboratory by accelerating certain particles to very high velocities and then making them to collide. These collisions will produce different fundamental particles. To produce Higgs boson in the laboratory, we have to accelerate the colliding particles to extremely high velocities. Such particle accelerators were not built until the beginning of 21st century. Active search for Higgs boson started with the LEP experiments at CERN in the 1990s and the Tevatron experiments in the Fermi lab in the 2000s. The European Center for Nuclear Research, CERN, is an establishment collectively funded by the European nations. Its main focus is the fundamental study of particle physics. Fermi Lab is the premier experimental facility for particle physics in the United States. At CERN, the LEP, the Large Electron-Positron Collider, accelerated the colliding particles up to 209 GeV energy level. At Fermi Labs, in the Tevatron, beams of protons and antiprotons were accelerated up to the tera electron volt range before they were made to collide. These collisions made an array of particles which were studied extensively. Both LEP and Tevatron experiments failed to identify Higgs boson, but they produced enormous amount of data which narrowed down the search for Higgs boson. In 2008, CERN commissioned the Large Hadron Collider LHC, the world's largest and the most powerful particle accelerator. It is an underground structure with a 27 km circumference ring of superconducting magnets. In this, two beams of protons were accelerated in opposite directions up to velocities which are close to the velocity of light. The beams are made to collide at four different locations around the ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, the Atlas, CMS, Alice and LHCB. One of the chief motivations of building such a gigantic particle accelerator at CERN was to identify Higgs boson among the products of numerous proton-proton collisions. Such direct observation of Higgs boson would be an experimental verification of the foundations of modern particle physics theory. Mathematically, the idea of Higgs field was elegant. And if two massive particles like protons moving at very high velocities are made to collide, then the resulting disturbances in the Higgs field should produce Higgs bosons. Higgs boson being unstable will instantly decay into other fundamental particles. By studying the trajectories of these fundamental particles, one can identify Higgs boson. The historic moment came in 2012. Scientists working at the Atlas and CMS detectors at CERN's Large Hadron Collider found out strong evidence for Higgs boson among the numerous products of proton-proton collisions. They identified Higgs boson with a mass of about 125 GeV. On July 4, 2012, the science scientists officially announced the observation of Higgs boson. A year later, in 2013, Peter Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. He shared this honor with the Belgian physicist Frangois Englert. 
Englert had independently proposed the theory of Higgs field in 1964 along with his co-workers. The successful observation of Higgs boson and the verification of the theory of Higgs field is a wonderful example of how elegant mathematical formulations can indeed represent physical reality.